Hi there, thanks for tuning in. My name is Rhiannon and I'm one of the founders of Barbecue Spit Rotisseries. Today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions we get asked from our customers. How long does it take to cook on a spit? There are so many variables to determine how long it's gonna take you to cook your meat on the spit. Was your meat taken straight from the fridge and put onto the spit? Or did you leave it warming up a little bit at ambient temperature, which is always the preferred option, by the way? It also depends on how wide the meat is. Let's just say, for example, you're cooking a four kilo piece of meat. Now that four kilos piece of meat will take a lot longer to cook if it's a big, chunky piece of meat, but shorter compared to if it's a longer, thinner piece of meat, because it's gonna cook all the way through a lot quicker if the piece of meat is narrower. Now, if you're cooking a whole animal on the spit, well, that's going to have so many variables. If you're cooking a lamb, for example, you could be done in about four hours if it's smallish lamb. Otherwise, it could go anywhere up to six hours if you're cooking a full-size sheep. And the same goes for pigs as well. Other factors which will influence how long it's going to take you to cook um, is if it's windy outside or how hot or cold it is outside as well. So always allow more time than you think that you need and make sure that you have an instant read thermometer on hand. That way you can always pierce the center of the meat to test the internal temperature and make sure it's cooked all the way through. If you'd like to stay connected and keep upping your barbecue game, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, post a comment below, give us a big thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.